so. I think mechs normally use three, but we use four just for this example. And then they'll have a little bit of liquid in front of them, and away it goes. Now, the difficult bit is going to be getting just a tiny bit of liquid in there. But if we go over one more bit, it's not a problem. Three then. Why three, Max? Why three? Why not four? Are you not happy with your design? No ban, please. Just to make up for that. No, no, no. No, no. And some X building does it wrong. I'm not doing it wrong, it's the exact same principle. four wide. It's got to be four wide because we want two pumps in there because I'm not a scrub. So I'm going to put two pumps right a la here. Okay. And then what we'll do, we'll do something like early equip. Mm, we'll do something like this. Early equip. Early equip. Yeah. Um, which will be real, real nice. And then we'll just have to vent all this crap out. Probably just slap like a high pressure vent here or something. This is good. Let's get all this done. Uh, all this pipe can be like a 7 or something. It doesn't need to be done that urgently. Yeah, we can't mop that. That's fine. Uh, I did this with conductive wire, which is kind of brave considering how far away it is. Brave slash foolish. Oh well. Um, I've already done the job, I think. I'm pretty sure he's doing this just to trigger Max taunting him with a build that's almost correct. What do you mean? Why ever would I talk Max? Why would I taunt him? It's not like Max goes out of his way to troll me or anything, guys. I'd never dream of it. I'd never dream of it. It's fucking ruined. It's one tile in the way. One tile. I can probably still squeeze it in, but it's really annoying. Really annoying! And you give me crap for triggering you on purpose, you bastard. Yeah, but you're, you do it just to poke the bear. It's just to poke the bear. You bring up something that you know I can't help but rage about, and then call me a bastard for raging about it. It's the worst. See if we can drop a tiny bit of oil in there. Tiny, teeny bit. Um, how's this working, by the way? Getting all sorts of weird shit up here, but that's fine. Is the base a little bit, a little bit bluer now? Ah, oh, we're fine. We're okay. We've we've probably got a bit of algae now as well, haven't we? In fairness, we've got two tons of algae. That is loads. Absolutely loads. Well, I might as well do this with conductive wire then, because I've already got a pump up there with conductive, so fuck it. I'll make this a big voice circuit. Okay, um, so we need the teeny tiniest bit of oil in here. I don't quite know how we're going to do this. This might fail terribly and it might take a few tries. But we'll see. I also want to finish eating my food. Okay. 
I need to keep an eye out for the tube that's bringing me oil. So I'm gonna slow this down for a minute whilst I eat. What, what are you talking about? One off works fine, I hate the pipe out of the tiles. Hmm. You're gonna open up a tile so I can get the, the oil out. I'm gonna skill it, Max, don't worry. I'll be fine. I believe. I've got faith. George Michael. I just need to find whichever little bastard has got my bottle of oil. There we go. We'll just keep an eye on our hoe for a minute. Somebody tell me if he drops the oil. did ah oh, shit I know what I did I had it on crude oil so when I clicked it to stop it it ticked them all ah oh, son of a bitch right it's fine no problem not a big deal no problem everyone how much oil's in here 25 kilos too much oh shit we need to get a max up here as well don't we Oh, I was convinced we'd skilled that then. I, I had faith in everything. So we've got two, five, two, two, one, nine. That's fine. That'll do. Perfect. That is good. Yep. That should be fine. this crap out and go very good <laughs> shit that's good great skill my lord nailed it max no problem easy as pie this is a huge waste of refined metal but Whatever. Whatever. So once I've got this going, we'll do a little bit of digging in that ice biome, and then I want to start messing with the AETN, start getting some cool liquid backed up. So that'll be the next job. It should be good. Well, it's really annoying that I have this single little single little thousand kilo blob of water. A bit random. Whatever. Mm 
Oh, cool one. How's this working? Okay, so we've now got a gas lock up here as well. This should be... Should be working. Yeah, that'll be fine. I still need to figure out how we're going to... Or at what point we're going to seal off the electrolyzers down here. I've not decided where we're going to do access at the bottom. I think I might just seal this off. And do access from outside, maybe instead. I've not, I've not decided yet. Or seal it off down at this level or something. So we can get to the storage and maybe collect CO2 down here. Something like that. That'll be cool, anyway. It'll be cool. Okay. Let's get you swept out. Mm -hmm. Waffle, how are you? How's it going? How the devil goes it? Tiniest amount too much oil in there. It should balance out eventually. And the whole idea of this is that it will push the oil from one tile space to the next and so on, so it doesn't really matter if one of them is overpressurized. It should eventually balance out. So, we'll seal this up. And then we can uh, get this vacuumed out. What I might do is just slap down a quick dirty coal gen here or something. Although we probably don't have much coal at the minute. Uh, consumable or coal? One ton. Jesus. Don't be salty, Max. Don't be salty. I done now? What do you mean? Uh -oh. I've done nothing. Everything's fine. Nobody's stuck or anything. Everything is fine. Fine, fine, fine. Why did you jump across? What have I done now? It makes it sound like I'm always doing things wrong. Not true. We need to free this little fishy, but he's not going to want to leave here, is he? Save these mushrooms. I save these mushrooms for sure. And then I'm gonna take all this stuff and dig it out. Really impatient. <clears throat> Cycle that's starting to take hold a little bit now. Cycle 324. We've still not got really the biggest base, but we have done a lot of exploring now, which means more things are getting interacted with on the map and starts giving us a bit more lag. It's okay. Hmm. 
Good evening, Pryor. How's it going, mate? How are you? Well, thank you, Prior. I'm just in the middle of my my tea. Um, I hate to eat on stream, but gotta do it. I know some people don't really give a shit about eating on stream. I don't know. I kind of find it a bit weird. I know I shouldn't do, but I kind of do. Back on here again, I see. Do we take a naughty break? Um, I normally do a playthrough on every single update, never before. That is normally the deal. Um, so yeah, not taking a break as such, but I wasn't sure if we were going to play this update, and then I've ended up quite enjoying it, to be honest. The expression update, I, uh, from looking at it on paper, I didn't really like the sound of it. And the more that we've got into it, I kind of like the fact that it held me back a little bit. Slowed my game down a lot, made me more dupe conscious. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is now an vacuum, which is good. Uh, this can be like below zero, maybe. Bump the Julian. And this pipe we can lead to the base eventually, but for now, once this is built, we can start at least collecting some of this stuff, which is good. Um, so might as well might as well connect this up to power now. Uh, the only thing I've just thought is, have we got any stink in here? Hmm. We do have a little bit of stink in here, and it is very close to the pump. I could diagonally build. Or I could just put a little filter on. I really don't want polluted oxygen getting in. Not that it'd really matter, but I just don't really want it. Let me chat forward. Twenty-two, not weird. What? What do you mean weird? Looking out for dupes while you and what you've done with the real life. When I say looking out for them, I mean preventing them from vomiting over my base. That's about as far as my looking out goes. Giving them what they need to not be jerks. No oh, shit, I completely forgot to do this. Um, I got distracted. Um, yeah. Ladders in. Um, <laughs> cool. Well, the bad looks with the speck all cold in here anyway, so I might just need to mine some. And they seem to have used all this that was around here. How's this thing running? Wait, why is this thing not running? Oh, we've run out of coal. Okay. Okay. We're doing a nine dig because why the hell not? Go. Cool. 
Vamos. Yeah, we don't have much coal. Not much coal at all. I mean, we still have the hydrogen to fall back on. We've got 55 kilos per tile. It's not very much, but it's better than a kick in the face. Oh, God. I would order it again. If the woman prepared it, I would eat it again. It was good. This chip was good. Good chip. Right, I'm going to need to do some stuff. I've asked them to do too much crap at the minute, so let's let them get to it. Um, I'm tempted to pump everything out of here. I haven't analysed this either yet. Bastard. Big old tits. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of blue oxygen, I think. You know what? It'll be fine. We can deal with that in here, I think. The amount that's in here is next to nothing. Um, but at least we're collecting some natural gas now, which is kind of important. So, you are above two kilos. That's fine. I've no idea when this is going to be proactive again. I really should have analysed it, but balls. I didn't. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow. I think we're getting towards the towards chef school now. Holy shit. I don't know why I'm training people doing chefing. But why not? We'll get them all chefing. Everybody is going to be multi skilled, many string bow. That's what it's all about. Get everybody trained up. Eating on stream only bothers me when they do it during a game, they will be paying close attention to it, like a team FPS or something. Hmm. I'm just leisurely wolfing down. I'll be done in a minute. Hmm. I'm a slow eater at the best of times normally, so it's even worse than one stream, so. A many string bow is called a heart. I suppose. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I would be very in interested in that game if one, I didn't bite my tongue, and two, I owned any form of console. Um, but yeah, I would be interested in Red Dead Redemption 2, honestly. I did very much enjoy the first one. I really enjoyed the first one. I was a cougar hunter extraordinaire. There's nothing like killing cougars with your bare hands. Or with a big knife. Either way, it's good fun. Cougar Hunter, extraordinaire. Let's just dig all this crap out whilst we're here. Squad, dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. then you're equally not interested in the new Spider-Man game. Uh, I've seen a bit of um, footage of the new Spider-Man game. It looks kind of cool. Um, again, don't have any consoles, mate. We've got all the old consoles. We don't have any new consoles. So, yeah, I'm not really interested in any of the new stuff. Not that I'm not interested in it. I am interested in it. I just don't have it. I can't play them. Which is kind of the opposite of being interested. It's an impotent rage, because I would like to play a lot of these games. But 
quite often there's only like one or two titles worth buying a console for. Like I nearly bought, I nearly bought a PlayStation 4 just for, um, what the fuck's it called now? The Shadow of the Colossus one, but not Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, Last Guardian. I nearly bought a PlayStation 4 just for that game. That Only that game. It seems so wasteful. But it's always the case with the, with the Sony exclusives, isn't it? It always bites you in the arse a little bit. Like the ripper much? What do you mean? Because I like shanking cougars. That's good in VR. Oh, the Last Guardian, really? Yeah, PS4. I like this console just because Sony is so into in, into exclusives. Yeah, that's the thing. But uh, probably of all the PS4 exclusives, there's maybe two or three that I'd want to play. And you basically just name them all. Other than that, is there much else? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can't think of any other games that I'd be desperate to play on the PlayStation. Right. Fishy found his way out. He's being a bit of a jerk at the minute, but we'll get rid of this and then he'll flow away. That would be good. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all this crap as well. Should be able to reach that. Be free, fishy. Flop away. I should really have um, done a bit more collecting up here. Before I let this water out, but whatever. It's fine. Some sort of weird hatch murder's gone on in there. Hatches are just spawning in a vacuum and dying repeatedly. Which is kind of interesting. Actually, that's a great idea for a hatch farm. Drop all your eggs into a vacuum room and just let them all die off over time. Pretty savage, but I think it'd work. Right then, so um, I'm going to want a big old ladder up here. So we'll do this right down the middle. We'll do it with a seven. Uh, I don't really care about any of these things here. I was going to leave a lot of these mushrooms and stuff in place, but honestly, we're swimming in slime and bullshit, so... I really don't think we need to. We have a lot of it. Oh, that sounds nice, bro. I'll be down for that. I, I really like like Ico and Shadow of the Colossus and stuff. It's some of my favourite games. I can choose space for that. Space for what now? Space for what? Sorry, I wasn't reading chat at the time. Closing doors and hatches should end them. Like the bigger hatch pusher. Yeah, probably should. It's kind of strange that we can attack critters, but we don't have like a butchering device yet. I find it a little bit odd. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if someone at Clay has been like, no, we can't kill critters, but then forgotten the fact that we can manually attack them. Like, it kind of makes sense to me that we should be able to butcher them humanely. Do you know what I mean? Rather than shoot them with laser guns from the future. Although, in fairness, they don't seem to be that, that bothered by the, uh, 
the laser guns. Maybe it just tickles and then they just die. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're futuristic space tickling guns and they just they tickle you to death. All of a sudden, you are undead. And up until that point, it feels great. And then you are an cadaver. Maybe that's what it is. This game needs an end game device like a tactical nuke. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, what happens when you drop a hatch into a hatch? Like what happens when you drop a hatch into a hatch? It dies from laughter. When you drop a hatch into a hatch. I see what you mean. Okay. I'm done. Death by meteorites, yeah. You open up spaces into end game, eventually build an escape rocket or teleport or something. I still really like the idea of a surface mounted gun that you can aim at another planet. Like, maybe maybe they'll have more planets. You know, maybe we'll be spinning more in the future. We'll have more planets that we can see. You could aim at one and shoot at it and send a single dupe there to try and colonise it. And then you could have, like, multiple colonies on the go at the same time. That'd be incredible. But, like, you turn up at the new the new asteroid, or the new comet, and it might, it might be a comet full of you know, thimble reeds and nothing else. So it might be a comet full of, you know, sand or some resource. I really like that idea. I'm hoping they bring in some sort of space gun. I've been talking about a space gun for so long. I would very much like a space gun. In case you don't know, I like space guns. Space gun. <sighs> okay. With the black hole for bad tubes, yeah! Yeah, if you miss the planet, there's a chance they'll get they'll get sucked into a black hole. Or if you have a bad dupe and your mechs, you could just shoot them into a black hole. That is also a thing. All of these things would make me happy. Uh, right. Gif coal. Coal. There we go. And we need to gif power as well. Uh, let's just do that. Looks like a little fork. Okay, how's this doing for temperature? Because this is still pumping in like quite warm gas, I think. It's not bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's disable that for a bit. By the looks of it, we're going to have some natural funk. So let's just stop that. I don't want natural gas coming in the base. It's just a pain in the ass. What's going on down here? Is everything okay? It looks very hot up here. But it is producing a smidgen of oxygen every now and again. So fine. I'm happy with that. Um, let's see. Coal, we've got 500 kilos. That is not good. That is the opposite of a good one. That's the opposite of a good one. Um... Say space gun one more time, I dare you. Space gun! Uh, oh. <laughs> nice third. Oh, Jesus. Shoot a laser at that planet and fucking annihilate it and have all the, all the resources rain down on you. That is a that is a darker approach, but I like it. Yeah, to start de destroying passing comets and stuff. Might be pretty cool. There's so much scope in this game. It's why, I honestly, I can't stop playing this game because... It's because at the moment, imagination is the most powerful driving force for me. Like, I like the idea of all the different stuff they could do. If it gets to the point where it's a finished game and they're like, yeah, this is all we're doing, then that's the end of that. But until that point, I like I like to dream. I like to think that this game could one day be the ultimate. The ultimate in Space Gun. And until that day, I'll just keep dreaming. Space Gun. Uh, can't hop all the way through there, but that's fine. Let's dig out all of you. Dig out you. Dig out you. Sweet Mary, mother of resources. We're going to be rich! Right, so that should all be quite low priority stuff. Let's change this to like a six or something. 
that's fine. We'll make the ladder a seven just for safety's sake. Shwep. Very good. We can highlight in the planet is why we're here in the first place. Other people may be catching up on up to me on volumes of quotes, but I find myself in catching the longer, more complicated ones. No, I think you still very much hold the title there. Don't get me wrong. I think you very much hold the title. A lot of people have come close, but as it stands right now, you're still the quote lord. You're still the quote lord. That's a lot of fun. What temperature are we now? The 20s down here. Toasty warm over here. Well, it's colder than it was. This was like 50. Um, interesting. Uh, so it's definitely it's definitely not as warm as it was. Okay, so that's that. We've done we've done a bit of tidying out and crap there, which is which is good. What I want to do now is work on natural gas gens. I'm not too worried for now. We've got a bit of hydrogen, not much, but we've got a bit. We're gonna keep getting coal. Which is fine. Probably should have done another, another hatch area, but meh. Uh, a hatch killer would probably be a smart thing to build at some point. Could do that down here. But yeah, what I want to do now is play with this thing. That is the plan. So first things first. Um, what do we want? What do we want? Actually, no. Let's do it down here. Um, I want some water, water storage compactors, uh, ice storage compactors. Sorry. So here's the deal. We'll get rid of some of this stuff. And we'll go up here. We dig out all this crap as well. Very laggy down here. Don't know why it's so laggy. Looking at this area was laggy. Maybe it's because of all the melting ice or something. Very strange. Very peculiar. Uh, okay. So, we'll dig out all this crap. Because why not? 